Templates or custom built websites? What's right for you? Hey, what is up guys? It is Harrison Barron, The One Entrepreneur. And like I just said, what is right for you? Is it going down the template route or is it going down the customized website route? And being that I am an agency owner, I wanna shed some serious light on this because this is a question that we get all the time. How much does it cost? How much are dev times? What does it look like for you going out and starting on your own, right? If you wanted to go build a website, I'm gonna be covering three different platforms on this. What does it look like for you if you go build a custom one versus what if you go buy a template for one of your websites? So I wanna share with you guys the insider information that I have because I've done both. I've spent hundreds of hours customizing templates and I've spent hundreds of hours customizing a completely from scratch website with some idea hints from other companies and other websites. Cause that's really it. I mean, you could come up with some really cool ideas, but unfortunately a website is really like a virtual sheet of paper. There's only so much that you could do with it. It's only two dimensional. I mean, yes, they have things that move and it looks good and it's cool, but realistically it's a sheet of paper. So there's really only two dimensions. You can go up and down side to side and that's it. I mean, you can't, I mean, you can make things appear and pull things from the back, but it's not tangible. It's not, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a website, right? I'm not, I'm not hating on it because this is what I do for a living, but I really do love it. But is it right for you to go build a customized solution? Well, I'm going to let you guys know today and I'm going to give you guys the information that I have being an insider. That way you can take this information and either go build your own website from a custom, you know, custom and scratch, or you can go out and get a template, save yourself hundreds of hours of time uh, going through that and ultimately the pros and cons between both of those solutions. So without any further ado, let's jump into my computer here. And like I said, I'm going to pull up three different website builders. That is going to be Wix, Kajabi and Webflow. Now you're probably thinking, why Kajabi? It's just a platform I use a lot. Uh, we, we are legend partners in my agency on Wix and Webflow is a new found love for me on the internet. So those are gonna be the three that I'm gonna be covering and ultimately maybe additional costs you might be, uh, you might need to know about or anything really that you should know about that may or, or may not cause you to sway in one way or another. So. This is, and the best part about this is, I'm not selling you anything. So this is a very unbiased approach from somebody that just does this for a living. So keep that in mind. So the first thing we're gonna dive into is actually gonna be Wix. Now we are legend partners of Wix, which means we've built over 50 websites, gone through a series of interviews, and that's all cool. But I'm gonna click start a new website. So most people are not gonna have the option of Wix or Editor X. Now, <clears throat> when you're doing Editor X, it is much harder than it is to do the regular Wix platform. In this case, I'm just going to do the Wix platform because most people aren't going to be custom building a Editor X store. Now, what kind of website should this be? Ideally, this is going to be what it, it's going to be for your business. So if you're starting a blog, if you're doing a portfolio, maybe it's a fitness gym, CrossFit, I mean, could be karate, anything like that. Business, online store, music, designer, events, other restaurants and food photography. So I'm just gonna click other, cause then when you go to other, it's gonna give you a variety of different options. When you go to this next step, it says let Wix ADI create a website for you. This is going to be the easiest way to build a halfway decent looking website. It's just gonna ask for a bunch of information and it's gonna pre-populate as much information as it can. So I mean, it's gonna use AI to write some of the content. It's gonna grab as many images that are related to those areas that are royalty free or you have the create your website with the editor option which is going to be much more elaborate so if you want something ready in literally 30 minutes or less you're going to want to go the adi route now if you don't want that you're going to want to create your own website with the uh, editor and in here you're going to see a ton of information and honestly some of these websites are really 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 impressive the one thing i have to give wix credit for where credit is due is wix gives hundreds i would I don't know if it's thousands, but hundreds of options for websites. It's actually pretty funny because I've seen so many of them now when I see somebody's website, I can almost guess, I might not know the template of it, but I know that it's a Wix website just by the way it looks because of the fonts and the images and not everybody changes everything on them. So as you go through this, you're gonna be able to see a ton of different content in here. You have your business services. So, I mean, this is a, this is a mega menu and a half, right? You have hotels, apartments, travel services coming soon. Uh, I mean, it, the list goes on and on. Then you have fashion and clothing, jewelry, accessories. It's it's a long list. You have creative, so you have your creatives in here. You have design, photography, music, portfolio. 
right community which is great if you you're looking to have like more of a membership type site and then blogs personal blog food and travel news and business so in this case being that many of you guys are going to probably start your own online business let's just go store i think store is a really good place to start and let's just go electronics i think electronics is a really good spot for most people now i happen to like a lot of these setups personally i think that they all look really really good now it is a limited selection there's only so many that they could possibly give away for free on here but these are all free there is no money coming out of your pocket and i'm saying this because it's very important there's no money coming out of your pocket that you need to pay wix additionally you can go through and grab any of these right at no additional cost other than your Wix hosting, right? I've seen most, if not all of these used, and I've used this, I know, specifically in videos. I will give you guys a heads up. Electronic store is very difficult to modify. There's a lot of stuff going on, especially if you're a beginner. But honestly, it looks really, really good. That's just electronics. I mean, you have books, publishers, pets, animals. Uh, let's just go with fashion and clothing. That's another one that we see all the time. And obviously, the, the more popular it is, the more popular uh, and the more templates they're going to have and they literally just hire you know template makers they they work for wix and this is their only job is to go make cool templates so you'll see on here that you have a variety of different templates on here you have uh and and every single one of them has its own name so clothing store right and if you cover or if you hit view on it you'll see it but it kind of tells you what it's going to be about so t-shirt store clothing store and honestly my best advice if you're looking to go down this route is realistically go find one that is exactly a good fit for you and then start modifying trust me i know you're probably like well harrison it's gonna look like everybody else's yes but the reason why these are named this way is because they work really well stop recreating you know stop recreating the the wheel here there's so many other ways to get around it sportswear right t-shirt store clothing store kids clothing store clothing store i mean the list goes on and on and on but honestly these designs and styles look really really good now to give you guys an idea if you go to nike right if you go to nike's website and i'm just using nike because it's a massive company we could do under armor too that's not how you spell Under Armour, but that's okay. So if you go to Nike and Under Armour's websites, this can absolutely be made in Wix. No questions asked. This is quite honestly, not that difficult. If somebody said, hey, can you build this in Wix? I, my immediate answer is yes. No questions asked. We could build this almost to the T in Wix. Same thing with Nike. I mean, Nike, sorry, my honey is coming up because it just wants to save me money. Uh, I mean, even this website is really, really simple. And the craziest part is this is probably gonna make a lot of people mad. Look at how little that logo is. It's very small. I'm whispering because I'm gonna make somebody really angry. Because people have this idea that they need to have the biggest logo out there. It's not true. But I mean, honestly, a website like this on Wix is super easy to make. I mean, if you said, hey, how long is it gonna take you to make this? If you gave me all the pictures, probably two or three hours to build. It's really not that difficult. If, if you didn't know anything about Wix and you wanted to try to copy this, you're probably talking about maybe 10 hours ish. That's, that's the difference between somebody that builds websites versus somebody that doesn't build websites. But honestly, it's pretty cool. I mean that you could easily build something like that. Uh, no questions asked pretty quickly on here, but just find a template that works for you. Right. And next thing I want to do is, is a website called Kajabi or a program called Kajabi. And you'll see in here, you have free, 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 right? They haven't started selling templates yet, but honestly, they're all pretty cool. So, this is a little more restrictive as far as what you can see and do. You'd have to go fire up the template. Now, I'm not going to go ruin my website like I've done several times on my YouTube videos. Uh, so I'm not going to click it. But I happen to like this one a lot. I think it's a really well laid out. I uh, love the color schemes on here. Kim did it. You know, the Kim template is great. And then you have the more generic one if you just want to go plug in your own stuff. And I'm scrolling because it just won't scroll on the image. But it's really, really cool. Now, I bring in Kajabi because it's a much more sophisticated, uh, I don't want to say website builder, but there's a lot more that goes into it. So you can have a blog, you can have landing pages, you can have memberships, you can teach courses on here. But either way, I wanted to talk to you guys about this, right? So if you're on Wix or you're on Kajabi, right, maybe Wix, you could probably get away with doing it yourself the first time. Whereas Kajabi, you're probably going to want to start on a template. It's a very high learning curve. Now, in one of my previous videos, I I debated and kind of just broke down a variety of website builders. 
on that on a scale of difficulty i would put kajabi at like a seven and a half eight as far as use it's a little clunky in my opinion where the wix editor i'd probably put closer to a six or seven it's usually a bit easier for most people and then the last one that i want to cover is going to be um the the webflow projects and you could start out with this streamline home by the way they also have legacy themes in here you'll be able to see which are just their old school templates and you can see that they all follow the exact same process of three dots and a hero section up top and that's what they had right i mean it's it's nothing too too crazy here but this is what they offered right now it's it's definitely come a long way and they're consistently making it better i really do like that about the company and then the last one which is going to be webflow now we are partners with all of these companies or we know how to use all of these companies and webflow is kind of the black sheep where webflow as great as it is it's very hard to learn in the beginning. I would put it up as, as a nine or 10, somewhere in the in the WordPress category because it is so difficult. Hey, look at that, that kind of looks like our website, right? How ironic. Um, because there's no sense in starting a, a brand new website from here, but some of the templates they have are literally insane when I come to, when I say that. I mean, you have, uh, you have I mean, and they're all, they're all paid. That's the only thing for the, for the most part. The, when I say the free templates, I mean, if you look at the free templates, it's, it's kind of disappointing. Now, there is a lot here, but that's it. I mean, that is it. And if none of these really tickle your fancy or get the juices flowing, you're out. Uh, you gotta go find some other stuff for you. And the, the little icons down here, you'll see, this is a CMS, so content management system. This is where the blog is, right? This is exactly what Growth Generators has. And then you also have an e-commerce store built into it. They do have an e-commerce platform. Is it slacking? It's definitely not as good as other ones, but you can see, I mean, it's, it's kinda, every single one of these are okay. Some of them are good, like I like Momentum, right? This one, Toy Store Retail is good, Startup. Um, the blog i mean but realistically you don't really have any of these like mind-blowing options for you so that's why you kind of have to go the paid route on this platform i don't foresee a lot of people using the free the free templates on here now i happen to like this one and i thought it was a fair price but some people are sp selling templates that look really good i'm, I'm not going to knock any of them right so you have aloha portfolio.webflow.io right you can go in here and and the it looks great i mean i'm not going to I'm not gonna say it doesn't look great. It looks beautiful, right? So these are all different templates that you have in here that some of them are paid, some of them are free. The vast majority of them are paid, right? And you can go through and you can pick, you know, let's just choose business, right? You have all of these business templates and now you give a huge variety of templates, right? So if you're starting out, right, you might wanna start here first and yeah, it's gonna cost you a little more money anywhere between like really 30 bucks to up to 150. I think I've seen some for 199 if I remember correctly, but most of them aren't that expensive. Uh, but it's pretty cool. I mean, it's cool to see that they have all of this information, all this stuff to pick from, right? Cryptify, $24 dollars ilk um you know there was one for 149 something like that up here uh i mean are they all expensive no i mean i would say most of them are are moderately cheap uh but they there is a cost associated with them so this is the the templates right if you wanted to go build it this is definitely one of the most difficult website builders out there now you're probably thinking well harrison you were supposed to give me you know, insider information and all of this, and really you've only just pitched three different platforms that uh, you probably have affiliate links down below, which I, I do, but um, I don't particularly care which one you use, but I wanna give you, I want to show you guys the templates that are available. And the reason why I wanted to do that is because a lot of people come into building a new website where they have this idea that some magical being is gonna crawl down from the sky and just bless them with this unbelievably beautiful website. It's not the case. I'm sorry, it's not the case. If you're gonna go build it, right, let's just talk about Wix. We use Wix, then we'll go to Kajabi, and then we'll go to Webflow. If you're gonna build a custom-made website on Wix, if you're tech-savvy, realistically, it's probably gonna take you about 10 hours to build the website. You're probably gonna sit on it for three hours one night, three hours one night, three hours one night, and by the third night, you're probably gonna be almost done, if not done or happy with it. Then you have the, the templates, which probably realistically would take you about maybe an hour or two to swap out all the text and an hour or two to swap out all of the images, right? You're talking maybe two to four hours, somewhere in there. So you have this template, right? Which may have a ton of functionality on it versus, or better yet, your custom made, which is not gonna have any functionality versus that template that's gonna have all of this functionality. Yes, it's gonna look like other websites on the internet. 
How many of them? I don't know. Has any of your visitors ever seen any of those templates? Maybe. Are they going to remember? Probably not, right? So that's the that's the comparison. You have you have maybe ten hours of work to build a custom made website. You have and and who knows how good it's going to look if the colors flow, if the images flow, if anything, you know. Then you also have the mobile that you got to worry about versus the template, which a lot of it's already done for you. It's much much more simple, and it's probably going to cut down time by like sixty to seventy percent. Now on a platform like Kajabi, where it's a much more difficult learning curve, I would say you're probably gonna start off with a template and even fixing that template is gonna take you, I don't know, 10 to 20 hours to do. Whereas if you built a custom website with all the features and functionality without coding it, right? You're probably looking at like 40-ish hours to get that first website launched. So you tell me, is that worth it? I don't know. If some people really want to have this whole custom website where it doesn't look anything like anyone else in the world, right? But you're, then again, you got to remember, you're on you're on two planes. You're on north, south, east, west. That's it. There's no. Yes, you can have different motions come in, but for the most part, there's really it's not tangible, right? It's not it's not a physical product here. So. That's something to keep in mind. You're gonna spend 40 hours custom building or maybe 10 or 20 hours modifying a pre-existing template. And then you have Webflow. And Webflow is probably the hardest one out of all of these where it has the greatest learning curve. So maybe a custom made website, even for a landing page or, or just a home page, is probably gonna take you between 40 and 80 hours to learn, to like really understand it and have it look the way you want. And that's no template. Now, if you start off with a template, you could probably have it done in a couple hours. Honestly, the templates are awesome. You swap out the text, you swap out the images. It is very simple to do that. And you could probably have a customized Webflow website done, I don't know, four to four to 10 hours, I would say. Probably closer to four unless you really want to change some stuff in there. But that's the difference. You're probably saving about 60 to 80% of your time that you might have allotted on building off of a template. Whereas if you're customizing it, especially if you're not tech savvy, it could be hundreds of hours of time through this entire process. So this, this is the cost be, cost and benefit solution for it. Do you wanna spend a lot of time because you don't have money to hire an agency or start with a template or pay for a template? Or do you wanna just get it done sooner or later, hire an agency or just start with a template, start with a paid template, right? And the reason that's why I put Webflow in here because Webflow is $20 a month plus you're gonna spend 80 bucks for the, for the template itself on average. Now, some of them are a little more expensive, some of them are a little cheaper, but keep that in mind. Plus, you gotta keep in mind you're also gonna pay for potential copywriting you're gonna pay for images if you can't find anything on royalty free websites these are all different aspects of stuff that you're gonna pay for if you have an e-commerce store that's gonna be a little more expensive if you're going to have uh, a blog I don't want to say they're more expensive because they're pretty much built into all of them but that's gonna take time and customization all of these little areas start to add up to time on time building this these this content right I keep looking at my computer because it really is, it's a lot to build. So I'm not saying that you shouldn't go use a template or you should go hire a designer. It's what's more benefit beneficial to you, right? Do you have a lot of time, but you don't have a lot of money? Go build it yourself, right? If you have a lot of money, but you don't have a lot of time, hire an agency to do it, right? You can hire my agency, growth-generators.com. You can go hire another agency online to go build you a website. But these are things to, to know about. The other aspect of it is just because you built the website, now you gotta get it found on Google. None of these templates can do that for you. You have to go in there, you have to know what you're doing, heading tag, and you can watch this channel and subscribe because I have tons of videos on all of this. But these are all different areas that most people don't ever think about when it comes to that kind of stuff. It's 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 a lot of it's a lot of stuff to do. It's it's images and text and data and and it really can become very overwhelming very quickly. So you have to figure out what's good for you. Is it starting with a template or is it going the complete custom route? Or is it a hybrid? Is it starting with a template and customizing it? Or is it you know hiring an agency and they build the basic website for you and then you take over and customize afterwards, right? That's another option for you. The best part is, is you can kind of figure out what's best for you, right? Maybe you are that person that hey, you know what, I can go start this. And then you go start this and you, uh, you hit a wall and you're like, hey, I need to get somebody else involved. I need, you know, I need a little guidance, I need a little kick in the butt, a little kick in the tuchus, if you, if you will, and to put you in the right direction. And, and we see that all the time. And any option is a good option. You just have to figure out what's gonna be right for you in your current situation. So I hope this video helps. I hope that I've steered you in the, in the direction that you need steering, right? Whether it's, you know, on what platform builder, I highly recommend all three of these platform builders, especially if you're building an online course, Kajabi is a great alternative. 
but which one are you going to use, right? There's then there's other platforms out there. I'm just using the three main ones that we use in my agency. I, I would never use a platform called <coughs> Squarespace. Um, but I mean, that's it. That's that's what you have out there. So I hope this video helps. I hope you guys got some value out of this. If you guys did, hit that like button. Leave a comment down below if you want me to do a review on another platform. There's always new platforms showing up. I mean, people realize that these are billion dollar industries out there and they can make a lot of money on it. So they're they're getting VC money, they're hiring the right builders, and it's a really, really cool process. So hope you guys enjoyed this. Hit that like button if you did, subscribe button, little notification bell, and heck, maybe share this out with somebody that's about to build a website. You'll save them. Uh, you're going to spend 20 minutes of their time, but you're going to save them potentially hundreds of dollars or dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens of hours building a website. So like I said, hope this helps.